Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to Rusty Church. Really excited uh, to get started today. Man, this is uh, a beautiful build. Um, I just love how things look. Looks awesome. Uh, but yeah, let's jump right into church today. I just want to welcome everybody here on Rust. And uh, we want to welcome those watching on Twitch. And perhaps those watching later on demand on YouTube or TikTok, where all this stuff goes, kind of goes everywhere. Um, so I just want to say welcome, hello, I hope everything's going well and you're part of the world. Uh, we are studying the book of Matthew in church, all the churches of VRMMO Church. And so we are going to be looking at Matthew chapter 7 today. It's going to be really good. Um, there's some really interesting things and, and also some really encouraging things as well. So uh, just keep that in mind. And I just got to do a couple of quick, there we go, that should be good. Um, and so yeah, thanks everybody for hanging out, for coming to church today. And I hope, uh, like I said, everything's going good in your part of the world. Hey, welcome, newcomer. Good to see you. Um, hey, what's up, Posk? How you doing? Welcome. Welcome, Posk. Um, so anyways, uh, like I said, welcome, Twitch. Uh, welcome, uh, those watching later on YouTube and TikTok. And what's up? Hope everybody's doing well. And well, if you've never been to Rusty Church before, we're actually a real church uh, with real pastors. And we meet every Sunday here in uh, Rust. And um, so, yeah, and the service only runs like 15, 20 minutes. We just read a little bit, little bit of scripture. Uh, we spend some time in prayer. Uh, Octane's going to have some announcements here in just a minute. And then uh, after Octane's announcements, I just get a short little sermon uh, from Matthew chapter 7 in the Bible. And yeah, and if you, always, if you have any prayer requests, uh, please feel free to leave them on our Discord. I'll try to post the, the Discord link uh, later behind me on the, sc on the screen behind me. But um, yeah. Uh, let's pray to start things out. God, thank you so much for this time where we, we can come uh, to grow in our faith, to grow in love. Pray that you bless everyone in here, whatever they're going through. Uh, may they be encouraged um, and just help them if there's any difficult things going on in their life. And in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen, everybody. All right. Octane, what's going on, man? All right, all right. Welcome, everybody. Um, again, for those people watching on our social media, uh, got a guy's got to come to Zombie Land. We always like to thank Zombie Land, outstanding PVE server. If you're looking to come on from social media and come in, it's Zombie Land PVE number one. Uh, make sure you get in here. The wipe, guys. It's a short wipe this time. It's this Thursday, March third at two p.m. So again, it's going to wipe on Thursday, March third. For those of you that want to donate any anything, we always appreciate giving us some wood, giving us some some uh, stone, anything you can. It always always is greatly appreciated. As DJ said, we are a real church. You could go see us uh, for more information on mmo.church. Uh, we also stream. If we're not just Rust, if you guys want to check out, if you if you're Got a VR, uh, VR chat and alt space, outstanding sermons we have there. And we're also in Final Fantasy Online. Come check us out. Um, we're full rounded and you'll see different sermons for each one. And each one is has its own unique little flavor on it. Um, if you really want to find out about us, join us on our Discord. Uh, VR MMO Church is our Discord. Not only do we talk about Rust there, we have all the other stuff. We have great fun. In fact, Pastor uh, DJ was talking about it last night. We we were doing some heists on uh, Grand Theft Auto. Outstanding fun! It was probably the most fun I've had gaming in a long time. So again, join us in the Discord. You'll see everything that's going on. And I can't send enough appreciation to Zombie Land. And we are a church, guys. If you want to donate, go to our uh, MMO Church. You'll find a little donate button. You can donate, help the church um, as we go along. So. That's all I have, guys. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Octane, so much. Appreciate that, my friend. All right, guys. Uh, we're just going to jump right into the sermon for today. We have been studying the book of Matthew in the Bible, and today we're on chapter 7. And you can kind of think of it like an episode. So if you've seen like your favorite Netflix, Hulu, Apple TV, Disney, you know, there's a lot of these series that we have. And they're like multi-episode. So you can kind of think of it like we're on episode seven. But here's a quick recap. Uh, in, in chapter one, we saw the birth of Jesus Christ. That's what this whole book of Matthew is about, the birth of Christ. Uh, chapter two, we saw that King Herod 
Uh, this guy named King Herod wanted to kill the Christ child. Um, so Mary and Joseph took, took Jesus and ran away. They went to go hide him uh, because they didn't want King Herod to get his hands on him. Uh, chapter 3, we saw the temptation of Christ and we saw, uh, oh no, that was, that was chapter 4. On chapter 3, uh, we saw the baptism of Christ by a guy named John the Baptist. And then we saw um, in chapter 4, back to the temptation of Christ. And then at the end of the chapter, we saw, it was kind of like the Justice League. Remember that moment where um, uh, Bruce Wayne, Batman, goes and starts recruiting like the Flash and he goes and finds Aquaman and all that. Well, kind of the same thing in a different way. Uh, Jesus gets his crew together, uh, gets his guild crew, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we meet people like Peter, Matthew, John. I'm talking about like early church fathers, man. Their images are all across churches, across the world, St. Peter, St. John, all those things. Um, and so this is the first time we are introduced to them in Matthew uh, chapter 4. And then uh, we get into the Sermon on the Mount, the, uh, a very famous sermon delivered by Jesus. And it's several chapters long. So five, uh, uh, Matthew uh, chapter 5 started the Sermon on the Mount. And it says, like, blessed is the man. God wants us to be blessed. And then in Matthew chapter 6, we saw a ton of topics, by the way. You should go back and, and read Matthew 5, 6, and 7. We're on 7 today. Um, but, but now we're going to jump into Matthew 7. And we're just going to read a few verses. Um, and like I said, we're, there are all different types of topics have been covered in the Sermon on the Mount. Everything from like worry and money and your people that hate you and this, that, and the other thing. And what we see at the end of the day is that God wants you to be blessed. He wants you to be happy. That's what we saw in Matthew 5, those words, happy is the man, blessed is the man. And so now in Matthew chapter 7, um, he still has some advice for us, some things to really encourage us with. So uh, let's go ahead and read some of these scripture. And um, here is the first thing. This is going to be a tough one. Uh, particularly in this social media world, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And here's what it says. It says, do not judge or you too will be judged. Man, that's tough, right? <laughs> think, about, think about reading the YouTube comments. Uh, that's never any fun reading those YouTube comments, right? Uh, there's a lot of judgment there sometimes. Sometimes they're okay. Uh, Randall's not feeling that. They're like, no, 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 we're not, uh, we're not getting any good uh, encouragement in YouTube at all. So anyways, um, do not judge or you too will be judged. And then the scripture says this, for in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. And so there's something to really think about. That when you're judging others, you're also judging yourself. So there's something about just being really careful how we treat other people, not to look down on them, not to criticize them. And that's, like I said, in social media world, it's, just, it's easy to judge, right? We can just uh, type something really mean and just leave it. Um, so it's a little bit of a different world, even from when Christ wrote, uh, spoke this message. And he goes a little further about judging people. We want to be people that love each other. We want to encourage each other. We don't want to beat each other down. And he goes like this. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? Um, how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when all the time there is a plank um, in your own eye? So basically he's saying like, when we criticize other people, we really need to criticize ourselves. Or I guess a better way to say it is not criticize ourselves, but when we criticize others, we got to be careful because in that way, we're invoking criticism back towards us. And we need to check ourselves. Before we start judging other people and being mean to other people, maybe it's us. Maybe we're the problem. And so before, and, and in fact, just for uh, filming purposes, before I get all up and say, your eye, like, hey, fat, I'm going to judge you because you have some issues, I really need to check my, myself to make sure that I'm living in a way that's honorable. So um, 
the next part has some strong words from Christ, but he just wants us to not live in a judgment world. And he says this, you hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. So first things first, before you criticize anyone else, do a self-check. That's right, Randall. I feel that. Do a self-check and make sure you're not just as guilty as the other individual. So it's so interesting that Christ says to judge not lest ye be judged. Uh, we'll skip a few verses and go to this next one because it's going to be talking about prayer. Um, this is really important. So we were talking about not judging others. That's not how we want to roll. But now let's talk about prayer. And here's what Jesus says about prayer. He says this. He says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. So if you look at those words, you see the, the bold print. Ask, seek, knock. And those are some of the elements that Christ is encouraging us to do. We are children of God. We are his sons. We are his daughters. And as children of God, the, the good father wants us to ask him for things. Now, we might not get everything we want or everything that we ask for, but in what Christ is trying to get our, our spirit to understand is that we can go to God for anything. We can ask him. We can seek him. We can knock and what Christ is saying, that everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. And so he gives an earthly example, which sounds kind of silly, but just check, just hear me out for a second. Here's what he says. He says, which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Um, or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? If you then though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? And so in this, it's a kind of a crazy thing. Like if I came up to one of my children and they said to me, hey, dad, can I have a, a piece of bread? And I said, well, nope, uh, I'm not going to give you bread. Here you go. You can have this. And I throw something on the ground there. Like, who would do that, right? Who would, uh, if someone asked for a bread, give him a stone? Or if we asked for a fish, give him a snake? And so we wouldn't do that. Even in Rust, we're nice to each other. We kind of give each other some nice things, you know, some nice gifts, which I, you know, I appreciate. Um, but if we know how to give good gifts to each other, how much more our Heavenly Father wants to give us good gifts to those who ask? And so there is that principle, start asking. Not like a spoiled brat kid. You ever seen the Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory? It's old school. Well, actually, they just did a remake with Johnny Depp, right? Uh, but remember that girl at the end, I forget her name, that spoiled brat girl who didn't get her way and it was kind of like, uh, you know, asking for things and getting upset. You know what I'm talking about, Randall? You know what I'm saying? And so when we ask, it's not in the spirit of this Willy Wonka spoiled brat girl, but it's in the spirit of humility. Hey, God, whatever... Your will is, I'll accept that. But with that being said, start asking. Start praying. What, what are your wants? What are your needs? Your good Father in heaven wants to hear about that. He wants to hear your wants. He wants to hear your needs. He wants to hear all of that. Ask, seek, knock. And Jesus is, in, is increasing our faith. He's increasing our capacity to, to trust in our good Father. Um, and I love that last sentence there. How much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? So it's time to start asking. And that's what our Heavenly Father wants. That's what Jesus uh, wants us to understand. All right, so uh, let me see here. Just a, a couple last words. Um, as Jesus wraps up the Sermon on the Mount, here he gives us... <laughs> Kill the bear. You need help with that bear? All right, time out. Let's go get the bear. No, false alarm. No bear. <laughs> false alarm. I thought there was a... 
We had to take care of that bear if it was coming. Uh, false alarm, no worries. Um, so now Jesus wants to wrap up. He, he's going to wrap up the Sermon on the Mount, and he wants you to visualize two houses, one house that's built on sand and one house that's built on the rock. And when he talks about this, I want to encourage you to go back and read Matthew chapter 5, Matthew chapter 6, and Matthew chapter 7. Even if you don't understand it, if you don't kind of get the whole picture, start reading that every now and then, because this Sermon on the Mount is one of the most famous sermons ever. And so um, here's what Jesus says here at the end of his sermon. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. Don't forget, this sermon is about how you can be blessed, how you can be happy. All the topics that Jesus covered in Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7, all of them is for your good. And so he wants to encourage you. He wants you to be blessed. And he wants your life to be like a house that's built on a rock that does not fall. Because listen, I, you, we've, uh, Octane and I are all, probably the older ones in here. We know that life will bring you know, health issues, relationship issues, 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 you name it. Um, and the storms of life are going to hit your, um, the house of your, of your life. And here we see that Jesus wants us to stand. Uh, one, one verse or one word I want you to look at is the man who puts, puts them into practice. I like how the scripture uses that word. Uh, the, the idea of practice is, you know, maybe you're not good at something, but let, let's say basketball. You never played it before. You got a basketball. You go out there. You start shooting some hoots. You don't make any. And then the more you do it, the better you get at it. The more points you start to make, and you be, it just becomes more natural. Maybe it's, uh, you know, a video game like a battle royale or something. You just get better and better and better at it. And so the scripture here in this sermon, I love that word that the man who puts them into practice so all these chapters, 5, 6, and 7 on the Sermon on the Mount, covering a lot of topics, can seem intimidating, just like anything else we would try to get into that's going to be intimidating. But start putting it into practice. Start reading this and say, I'm going to do my best to um, evolve in this part of my life, to grow in my faith in prayer, to ask God for things, to not worry we saw that in chapter 6. Don't worry. And I'm going to start putting this stuff into practice. I'm just going to become a habit. I'm going to start exercising that muscle, and it's going to become stronger. And so conversely, um, here's the, uh, the last couple of verses here. This is what Jesus wants us to be like. This is how he does not want us to be like. So he says this. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rains came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against uh, that house. And it fell with a great crash. And so, again, this sermon is about us being blessed, about us, about us being happy. And he doesn't want our lives to fall apart. And so he's encouraging us, don't ignore all these things that he's telling us, all these gems, these truths to increase our faith and love. Don't ignore them. Start putting them into practice. You might not be good. It might be your first time trying not to worry. You're shooting that basketball for the first time. It might be your first time loving your enemy forever. You've never done that before. You used to hate them. Um, but now you're starting to try to love people who are mean to you. Start putting that into practice, one step at a time, little by little. And then here's the, the last verse for the Sermon on the Mount here in Matthew 7. When the crowds, or excuse me, when Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching because he taught as one who had authority and not as their teachers of the law. So the crowds were amazed. They've never heard anything like this. This is a sermon that blew them away. And fundamentally, I think the reason that it blew them away is because they probably never heard a sermon about how to be happy. 
about how to be blessed. And so maybe that was one thing that really impacted them. Um, the authority of Jesus when he spoke these words had a great influence. Well, uh, my friends, that is the end of Matthew chapter 7. Um, let us pray. And I'm going to pray that we will all start to put this into practice. Let's pray. Um, Heavenly Father, thank you for this time. Thank you for everyone here on Twitch, on TikTok, YouTube, wherever anyone is at that's listening to this sermon today. Uh, may they be encouraged. And God, may all of us start putting this into practice. We're not good at it yet. We're just getting started in some of these things. But help us to start little by little to develop um, a life of faith and hope and love. And in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen, everybody. <laughs> oh, I used up all my ammo. No. Oh, switching over. There we go. Did you have a spoon on your... <laughs> Where'd you get that spoon on your nose? Is that part of your hat? <laughs> Where did that come from? That's funny, man. Hilarious. Oh, no spoon, nice. <laughs> Check it out, Fat. Oh, thank you. I need some 556. Five, My enemies will be intimidated. What is this technically? A nose uh, protects the head. <laughs> That's awesome. Octane, where'd you get the uh, Batman suit? Batman! Batman. Octane, are you there? I can't hear you if you're talking. Oh, my bad. I was muted. Yeah, it's just a long t shirt and a black pair of pants. That's, it. Oh, that's cool. Pretty sweet. I hear an animal. All right, guys, I got oh, a dip. Check out this uh, wolf attack here. Let me go get some meat. What's this uh, glass case up here? Somebody's house. Really? What is that like? Uh, doors? Uh, I think they, they just like built inside of it. Oh, the structure is already here, you mean? Yeah, I see, and then they just place like foundation. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought they actually built this. It's kind of cool. Though. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that, that church is looking nice, man. Hey, Fat, where are you going? Uh, nowhere in particular. Just flying let's, around. Let's go. Let's go nowhere. <laughs> Fat. 
<laughs> Whoa! Ah! <laughs> oh, I did that off the purpose. You guys see this? Twitch, you watching this? Crazy. Oh, snap. <laughs> uh, I'm dying. <laughs> we got another one. <laughs> uh, no. so I took the other one. Hot dogging. I think I was, was, it, was it really? Was the door open? Did he mini bomb you? Did somebody steal it? Let's find out. Oh, that's there. DJ, are you team me? The fat is. I just had to grab some love, right? Here we go again, part two. Woo! Don't even think about it. No, don't even think about it. He thought about it. We're still alive. We're still alive. <laughs> oh! Bam! <laughs> the tree! The no. tree shut up out of nowhere! <laughs> no! The heli! It's destroyed. <laughs> That's funny. What's this? Server meeting Tuesday, March 1st, 7.30 Eastern in Discord. Prizes for those who attend. Oh, I'm going. Oh, boy. Did you guys see that helicopter crash? It's crazy, man. Crazy stuff. Can you take someone else to heli? See who our neighbor is here, the police. LSPD? Yeah. I was here the whole time. Was here the whole time. <laughs> What's up? Hey guys, you missed church. We just finished a bit ago. What's up, Night Owl? What's up, Nighthawk? You're welcome just to hang out if you want. Ooh, I like the efficient use of space here.
You guys doing Bradley? Oh, you're fixing that one little spot, Biki, so. <laughs> nice. Friends, I will catch you later. Adios, amigos. See you, Randall. See you, Fat. See you, DJ. Kaboom. You do that right. We're getting raided. We're getting raided. <laughs> 